friends, what's up? If you're new here, my name's Elise, welcome to my channel. If you're not new, welcome back, it's always great to see you. I just got done filming my physical TBR update. Now, I wanna use these books to make a book tree, a book Christmas tree because tis the season, fa la 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 la, let's get started. I think that the best way to start is to put like my hardback books, like the thick ones on the bottom and then we'll go up in or like we'll get smaller in size as the tree goes taller. So I need to organize these because these are kind of like organized by genre-ish, not by size. So I need to organize them by size first and then we'll get started on the tree. Let's speed this process up. I have them sorted. It probably doesn't look like they're sorted to you yet. These books right here are actually books that I have already read this year. I will be doing a video on those soon. A wrap up sort of video. Can't add them to the tree quite yet. And then we have some more over here that we're not going to touch either. So let's get started. I'm actually going to start with these bad boys over here. I feel like they will make a good base. Should I put the pages on the outside or the cover on the outside? I feel like it would look more aesthetically pleasing with the pages on the outside. I don't know. Let's try it. How big do I want to make it? I don't know how big it's going to end up being. I've never done this before. Okay, so I have five thick books on the bottom and then we'll start going from there. I feel like they're going really fast already. Here's the progress so far. Let's move on to some more hardback. So I'm trying to go in, but it kind of doesn't want to yet <laughs> because of how big the hardback books are. Okay, that's all I have of this size hardback. Now let's move to the smaller size hardback, like the shorter one. and start going in a little bit. That's it with that size hardback. So let's move on to some thicker paperbacks. This is getting harder because not all of them are the same thickness and it's making it a bit uneven. <laughs> like right there, that gap. That is all of the kind of thicker paperback books I have. Now let's move on to the thinner kind of regular paperbacks. This is getting tougher. I feel like maybe I should have made the base wider for longer. a little bit better. I think it's time to move on to mass market paperbacks. Even though we still have quite a few regular size paperbacks, I think the little ones are the ones to, to go to next. I want it to be taller, but it, like I'm as I'm going up, I'm bringing them closer together, right? And it's just not as many books will fit like in a circle kind of shape. There she is. <laughs> This is all of the Christmas lights that I have for the tree, for the book tree. Is that leaning? Looks like it's leaning maybe a little bit, but maybe it's just because of the background. I'm not sure. Anyway, I need to get another strand or two for the tree to finish it up, but 
I'm gonna do that tomorrow and I'm gonna end the vlog here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey to create my first book tree. I didn't think I could do it. I didn't know if I had enough books, but obviously I have enough books. <laughs> Don't know what that says about me, but it is very cool. I'm excited to have it, but I do want to finish getting those lights. Anyway, I digress. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed joining me for this random little book miss tree event. It was a lot more effort than I thought it would be, but it is definitely worth it. I want to add some little like trinkets and like ornaments and stuff like that to it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video and sending you good vibes. Bye everyone.